Okay, now for question 11 from the mock paper for the Pure One International A Level um, the mock exam from 2019 that I gave my students. Question 11 the points A and B have coordinates 3k minus 4 minus 2 and 1k plus 1 respectively, where k is a constant given that the gradient of AB is minus 3 over 2, show that k equals 3. So basically, you have points A and B, okay, where A and B are points as follows in terms of k. So you've got a is 3k minus 4 and minus 2. So the x coordinate is 3k minus 4 and the y coordinate is minus 2. And the point b, you've got 1 for the x coordinate and k plus 1 for the y coordinate. And the gradient of ab is minus 3 over 2. So the gradient of um, a line between two points is the change in y. So you can say, for example, um, it doesn't matter where we should. let's do yb minus ya over xb minus xa, and that's going to equal the gradient of the line ab. Okay, so we can say yb, which is k plus 1, minus minus 2, k plus 1 minus minus 2, be careful of the negative sign, and you've got um, 1 minus and you got 3k minus 4, again be careful, maybe I should have done it the other way around, but no problem. Okay, um, over and xb minus xa, 1 minus 3k minus 4 is equal to minus 3 over 2. So we have formed an equation now, and k is unknown, so we have to solve, find what k is. So we can say that k plus 1 plus 2, which is k plus 3, because it's minus and minus will be plus, over, and you're going to have 1 minus 3k uh, plus 4, so you'll end up with 5 minus 3k, and that's equal to minus 3 over 2. Okay, I need to make some more space here. Let's move these down a bit. Okay, so what we can do is continue here by cross multiplication. So we're going to have 2 times k plus 3 is equal to minus 3 times 5 minus 3k. So we have 2k plus 6 is equal to minus 15 plus 9k. So we can bring the k's together. You've got 16 plus, sorry, 6 plus 15 is 21. And my 9 minus 2k is 7k. So that gives us a nice answer. k equals 3. K equals 3, and that's the value of K, for which the gradient is minus 3 over 2. Oh, yeah, good. Show that K equals 3, so yeah, we've shown it. Okay, so that's good. It worked out the right answer. Then part B says, find an equation of the line through A and B. Okay, so we know that the gradient of the line through A and B is, as they told us, minus, minus 3 over 2. Okay, that was told us. And we need a point, we need two points on the line. Well, we know the points on the line. We need any one of those points. So let's try, let's look at B. B looks like an easier point to use. So let's take the point B. You've got basically 1 and k plus 1, which is going to be 4. Okay, because uh, k plus 1, 3 plus 1 is 4. So now we can say y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. I prefer to use this formula always, um, when I'm, especially with AS maths, and um, especially when you've got fractions for the gradient. But this question doesn't specify in terms of how you've got to write your answer. Um, so you've got a choice how to write the answer in the end. But anyway, let's just uh, do this. You've got y minus the y value of the point, which is 4, equals m, which is the gradient, which is minus 3 over 2, times x minus the x value of the point, which is 1. So what we can do here is I can multiply both sides by 2. That will give me 2y minus 8. And I can, ex once I've got rid of this 2, I can expand this bracket. So I've got minus 3x plus 3. And I can express it in this way if I want. 3x plus 2y minus 11 equals 0. Um, if I wanted to also, supposing you did it, uh, it doesn't tell you in which form to put the equation. So you could express it in the, in the form y equals mx plus c. If I express it in the form y equals mx plus c, I'll have 2y equals minus 3x 
uh, minus 11. So y would be minus 3 over 2x minus 11 over 2. Both of these are acceptable. I prefer this unless it says write the answer in the form y equals mx plus c. Especially when you've got fractions to deal with in, in your equation. But this is um, a perfectly acceptable form. And you can see, you know, we know that we're right from at least the gradient point of view. Minus 3 over 2y equals mx plus c. So hopefully we've got the right answer there. Um, in fact, it is the right answer. I check the mark scheme. So that's the answer for this question, part B. And now we've got to do part C. It says, find an equation of the perpendicular bisector of A and B, leaving your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equals zero. Okay, so now we need to know the coordinates of A and B now. So B we know is 1, 4. Okay, for A it's 3K minus 4 minus 2. So A was, A was 3K minus 4 and minus 2. And we know that K was equal to 3. So that's going to be 9 minus 4, which is 5, and minus 2. Okay, 3K is 3, so that's 9 minus 4, which is 5, yeah. So these are the two points. So to find the perpendicular bisector, now the perpendicular bisector is a line which passes through A and B exactly halfway through Okay, half the distance between A and B, exactly at its midpoint, and it passes through in such a way that the angle made when it passes through is 90 degrees. So bisector means it cuts it in half, perpendicular means at 90 degrees. So just a little sketch to illustrate, you've got 5 minus 2, which is somewhere over here, that's your point A, and B is 1, 4. So 1, 4 somewhere up here. So that's your line AB. So the perpendicular bisector will go and cut this exactly at its midpoint and at 90 degrees. So we need to find the equation of this line. I haven't drawn it accurately here, it's just an, an, an illustration. So we need to find two things. We need to find the midpoint between the two uh, points and that's basically very simple. It's, it's going to be the average of the x coordinates for the x coordinate of the midpoint and the average of the y coordinates of these two points for the y coordinate of the midpoint. So we're going to have 5 plus 1 divided by 2, that's the x coordinate of the midpoint, and you've got minus 2 plus 4 divided by 2, that will be the y coordinate of the midpoint. So the midpoint will be, that's 6 over 2, which is 3, and 4 minus 2, which is 2 over 2, which is 1. So that's the midpoint, and the gradient, we're going to gradient with a small m, okay, so the gradient that we need Okay, the gradient of the perpendicular bisector is going to be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the original line. So the gradient of the original line is minus 3 over 2. Okay, was it minus 3 over 2? Let me just make sure. Minus 3 over 2. So the gradient over AB is minus 3 over 2. Therefore, the gradient of the perpendicular bisector is going to be positive 2 thirds because it's a negative reciprocal. Okay, so it's going to be 2 thirds but positive. Okay, so you, you change its sign and you turn it upside down. So now we have the information we need to write down the equation and we have to give it in this form. They've specified this form now. So I'm going to use, it's much easier to do it this way. We have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And so you have y minus the y coordinate, which is 1. <coughs> Sorry about that. And m is 2 thirds. And you got x minus the x value, which is 3. So now I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 to get rid of the fraction. So I have 3y minus 3. And I can expand. And the 2 will be left here, so I'm going to expand that. So 2x minus 6. Let me make some more space here. And now we can write it in this form. I like to keep the x term positive, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this side here 0, and I have 2x, I have minus 3y, and minus 6 plus 3, which is minus 3. So in the end, I can say 2x minus 3y minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, I could have kept the, I could have said 3y minus 2x plus 3 equals 0, and that would have been perfectly fine. I just prefer to Keep the x term as a positive, and there we have our answer. Okay, in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero, where a, b, and c are integers.
Okay, so we have now finished this question and finished the whole of this uh, mock paper. Thank you for watching.